Hey guys, this YouTube video is made for entertainment purposes only. Always wear the appropriate PPE, definitely earplugs and uh, safety glasses. And always remember to have a trade who is licensed, certified, and insured to do the work necessary. I'm going to review and show you how to use a quick drive screw gun. It's the Dewalt model. So, I have two attachments. One is the 300S, the other is the 200S. The 300S goes to, uh, this will be the, the uh, 200, this is the 300. Basically, I can go to an inch and a half to th two, three inch screws. And with this one, I can go one inch, being the 200S, uh, one inch to two inch. So both of these will work with the screws that we're gonna use today. The, the bits come out, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, we have the extension, which we're gonna be using. I'd never, I'd never not use it, so. But typically, well, those ones who change in the bit first, we have an extension here, or a retractable, uh, Bit removable piece and you just insert it into the slot you push it forward and it pops it out at that point physically you can take it out it has a little c-clip on it so that's what retains a bit and then you can just click it back in so with the extension I typically just stick it in until I feel like it's uh, it's grabbed and this is just an easy thing to uh, take out there you go right there and at that point we can take the attachment that we want, put that back into place, and there you see there's a just a little clip. It's as easy as that. You just click it in place, done, and you can actually angle this. So if I want to be over here, you can just click into place. So if you want the, the screws to be fed in through the side, or the, from the front, or the top, or whatever, the bottom, you're good to go. Um, the next piece, for this and the, the screws sorry the bolts on this thing are uh, threaded the opposite of what they normally are and so it's not righty tidy lefty loosey you'll see that there's a little uh, clip in here so as I'm tightening it that clip presents itself and as I'm turning it to the right it releases and that's what holds the gun into place now, you can pretty much, again, position this any which way to your liking. And again, to the left. There we go. So it's lefty tidy, righty loosey. And that's it. So, just insert, if you want to put the screws in, just insert them like that. They get locked into place. And it does come with a holster, a little belt holster here. That's it. So let's get to using this thing. So this is a corded tool. I don't really have many of these. You're gonna to wanna to have a long extension cord. I have a 100 footer, and I typically tie a knot in my corded tools. And that way, I won't unplug when I'm using it. So, just like that, easy peasy, lemon squeezy.
but typically you're going to want to run the seams of the wood on either side. So as the seam cross here, I go to either side of that seam. Now, after that, you just, wherever the, the nails are, you just fire them down. That goes across. And then sometimes you'll get seams like this, where if you look at the snares, let's just pull back a little bit, you'll see it running this way. But the plywood is just offset by just a little bit. So you're gonna have to go in on an angle. Sometimes you'll catch, sometimes you won't. In this case, I didn't. So I had to pull out the screws I was using and fire them in with the driver directly on a bit of, bit of a 45 degree angle. That way, this is not gonna be depressed and it will not squeak once the hardwood is down, which is very important because this is a high traffic area. Anyways. I'm gonna do some more uh, screwing around, get this hallway done, and then pack it up. Two more uh, tips and tricks, I guess. It's kind of self-explanatory, but make sure that when you're screwing your gun, you don't end up hitting your cable. I haven't hit it with this cable, but I'm sure I've done it in the past, and it's not very pleasant. You have to cut your cable, fix it, tape it all back together, and then people know that you've screwed your cable, literally. Um, that also being said, something that I've always practiced, and it's kind of, again, self-explanatory. Come with me. Let's take a look, light, at where your joists are. So we'll come back over here, see which way they're running, see if they change, see if there's any abnormalities in the joist layout. That way you'll know where to screw. Releasing mechanism, very easy. We have your depth, so when you're not using it, you can adjust this by pulling, pushing. You can adjust that right there. Um, then you have your, where is it? When it gets jammed up, there you, go. Push, you can pull that back. Again, this releases. Uh, you have your bit extractor and uh, pretty much it like nothing really goes wrong with these things so that All being said it's ready loosey lefty tighty Not what we're typically used to 